Today we're gonna show you how we make three different chess boards and how we made each one. We're gonna cover how this board went sideways and almost became a total failure. We're gonna cover how we make these precision cut inlays that perfectly fit into the board. And we even learned where all the chess pieces go. Queen goes on the corner, right? All right guys, now that arts and crafts is over, it's time to make a real wood chessboard. Now that we're done this solid walnut and maple board, we're gonna go back to the epoxy board and teach you where this epoxy failed us.
All right, let's go over where this project went sideways and how we fixed it. So we decided we wanted to push the boundaries of Flowcast SPR, which is designed for pours up to one inch. Now we ended up pouring two inches with this epoxy. And as you can tell, it didn't go as planned. It cracked, it bubbled, and we almost lost the whole piece, but we were able to salvage it after we took it out of the mold, we flattened it, and then we just filled it with clear epoxy and a lot of those voids, cracks, and bubbles virtually disappeared and made for a salvageable piece. So don't use the wrong epoxy, make sure you get that right stuff for the right depth. That's a reverse Sicilian. <laughs> you actually know that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're full of shit. 